Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Season Zero of Coffee Craft with Anon Jr. And we've got Rayest waiting in the wings. We've got some updates and upgrades to talk about here. And uh, I guess I will unmute Discord and dive right in. So, things are going to look a little bit different around here. We finally updated to 1.14.2, so we're going to have some of the new blocks running around. I've got our Iron Farm Villager Trading Center Villager Breeding Combo thingy in the background there. Because um, that's going to have to go. That's not going to happen today, because... If I'm understanding some of the stuff right, there may be some changes to the villager breeding mechanics, and I don't want to set up a new system only to have it not work when 1.14.3 comes out. So those poor souls are going to be sitting there, and uh, they'll just they'll, they'll just have to be the way they are for now. Uh, got a few other things. We updated the server texture pack, so we're using. A, a lighter texture pack based off of vanilla tweaks. I added a couple extras for my own, but you should see a lot of similarity between what everybody's doing on their machines. I will add a link so that way if you are interested in doing a texture pack similar to what we have here, you can download it from vanilla tweaks. All the selections already made. And, uh, and there we go. What I do want to do is, if it'll let me take off, fly back over here. Because we got a couple of things that I want to kind of point out. The upgrade to 1.14.2 was uh, interesting. <laughs> it took a couple of tries. Some things did not quite work out. Uh, these guys were going to have to go back in there and put in their profession thing in the back. I think those are the carrots from when I was working on some other stuff. Um, ditto for these guys, although they seem to have retained their old profession. I'm still going to go ahead and add the block. And over here... Where did he go? What in the world? Okay. Right after the server upgrade, there was a kid over in there. <laughs> even though there shouldn't have been because there's only two beds and two villagers and now that I go to point it out on air the the kid's gone do I need to post an amber alert I uh, okay <laughs> that's kids they don't listen yeah yeah and before we finish for the day remind me to head on over to Arcadius's fish farm because uh, guardian farm because I made a couple I finally finished the redstone that uh, I was trying to work on last week in the stream um, so that uh, that did get finished or at least my portion of it did although come to find out that was not supposed to be the top so there that is <laughs> Now we are going to, oh, that's right, I was going to grab a couple of my redstone boxes because Reyest and Arcadius have been exploring now that we've got the update. And I believe Reyest has some, so, uh, some bamboo for us. Excited about the bamboo. And, uh. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a stupidly simple farm in the community center for now. So that way we can start at least start collecting it and uh, start building with it. And I'm not going to be too fussed about where to put it just because, again, this is going to be a simple temporary so we can wrap it, you know, get a bunch of bamboo for the time being. And I did. Uh, we should have some in the community center then. Don't don't ask me why I didn't why I walked around the corner when there's a door right there. I blame it on the long day. That's gonna yeah that that'll be my yeah long day. That's why. <laughs> Nobody can see it, but this is totally the face of belief. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, 
so where is the bamboo? I am actually unloading on the organics floor all of the things from our hall when we went yonder. Uh, terrain. There we go. Ah, sweet. You don't want that one yet. Um, I might have got a few things while we were out. You know we have potatoes, right? Eh, they happened. Okay. There was, there was a village. There's not a village anymore, so we just took everything. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. There, it, it was a thing. It happened. Ooh. We got a couple of crossbows already. With mm -hmm. piercing one. Nice. Alright, some barrels and maps and things and... Yeah, I love all these trident books that we're getting, and we haven't been able to get a trident for love or money. Um, did you loot all the beds out of the village? Maybe. Were there no villagers left there anymore? Maybe. <laughs> okay. <coughs> it was a thing. It, it happened. You know what? This is me not asking any more questions. <laughs> I'm going to go down. We got four bells, though. <laughs> I'm going to set up a temporary bamboo farm behind behind the post office. And it is going to be super temporary, but uh, I want to go ahead and... Oh. Every now and again, the mouse has been doing this weird double click. I haven't been able to figure it out. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. All right, all right. So. What we need are... Do I have food, lawn, stone? Okay, good. I do have some rails in there now. And yeah, I get everything to make the hopper minecart, so... Let's do this, let's go. We're going to need some power. We're going to need some powered rail. Some regular rail. Alright. Uh, That's what I forgot. Nah. I got everything I need. Those weren't complete thoughts either, were they? Alright, what I need is I need a couple of boxing. I need some hoppers. One, two, three. Yes, three hoppers will be good. A minecart. Two, four logs to start with. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make <laughs> an off by one error and. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. Alright. Alright, so I'm going <coughs> to put our double chest there. I'm going to put our hoppers in there. Um, this is one of the wonderful benefits of the texture pack. We got the directional arrows, because <laughs> that got, that got something. Alright, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah.
So I'm gonna have a hopper minecart running over that rail. And above it, I'm going to put the dirt. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Do you need more of the bamboo? Um, not yet, no. I do think I'm going to go ahead and extend that out one more pass. It shouldn't make a difference, but... Alright, and... I'm going to do my usual. I'm going to overlight. Because you can never have too much lighting. Where is sugar going to go? Uh, I think you've been putting it in, uh, in with the sugar cane. It wasn't, but it is now. It wasn't? Did you have <laughs> any other food stuff then? Nope, I think we just didn't have sugar. Alright, so basically what I'm doing is I'm putting a block. It can really be any block, but I'm putting some light because why not? And we're going to put our bamboo up in those two columns in the middle. And on top of that, I'm going to need 16 pistons. I'll grab some of that. Grab some of that. Grab some of that. That's right. Because I am forgetting cobblestone. Um. That would be up on terrain organics. Terrain. And I hope we have. I mean, we should have cobblestone. No, I think we're out. <laughs> we might be by the time I'm done. <coughs> All right. And we definitely want to make sure that we're uh, sleeping these nights out. Because with my luck, it's going to be a pillager raid the second I try to work through the night. Okay. And I said I needed 16 pistons. Do you need a bed to keep on you? Because I know where you can find some. No, I have one. Thank you, Dave. <coughs> what am I? Uh, nine, nine. What am I out of? I got plenty of blanks, plenty of cut. Oh, redstone. Okay. Are the berries edible? The sweet berries? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But the bamboo's not. No. Unless you're a panda. And... Oh. Alright. I forgot to update, add the uh, wrench texture back into the server texture pack. 
when we get done, please remind me. Now this is pretty much what I got going for the sugar cane hiding in my base. The only difference is bamboo does not require does not require running water. So I don't have a channel of running water down the middle. And I'm gonna need 16 observers. some of the new uh, new workstations too we picked some up they were donated they were donated yes by the people we failed to protect oh <laughs> isn't that how donations work uh, <laughs> depends <laughs> what's going on. Because we're live and I don't have the luxury of doing a voiceover after a uh Actually, I could have done this a little bit cheaper. I could have just used two observers. But we got the resources. And this might help us uh, speed up the output a little bit. Not by much, though. Uh, do we have a bunch of glass in there? Because I could use, like, maybe a stack or two. We do in the things on the bottom or in the colored boxes in the My Precious area. Okay. that oof. I'm having to verify what plants actually still make the same dyes. Because <laughs> bone meal is no longer how we get to white, correct? Um, you use bone meal to make white dye but you don't directly dye it with the bone meal, if I remember correctly. Does anything else make white dye now? Uh, there's a couple of flowers that make white dye. They tried to make sure that every color could be made with a flower, so that way if you play in Peaceful, you can actually get every color. Alright, so this bog standard machine usually used for a lot of your basic sugarcane farms but it also works for bamboo is set up such that these bamboo are going to be planted and they're going to grow and once they they're going to grow they start at one block high they grow two blocks high when one of them gets three blocks high, it'll trigger one of the observers on that side, which will then trigger all the pistons, at least the way I have it wired up here. Um, you'll see a lot of people to save on resources. They'll use one observer on each side. 
So you're basically, when this one gets three high, then it triggers all of them. And that it, that is a valid way to do it. There's nothing wrong with doing it that way. Uh, this way, whichever one gets the three first will harvest whatever's there, and that way anything that's at two high will also get harvested. Um, this stuff is supposed to grow prodigiously fast, so we'll, uh, we'll see how quickly this ends up being a thing. And all we're going to do is we're going to get this guy going over here. And he's going to run around and pick up all the harvested bamboo through the blocks. I'm going to throw a glass shell to constrain all the bits of bamboo so that way they fall in between the two columns there. And then I will tell Rayest she is free to build whatever kind of shell around it she wants to. Um, Sweet. Bear, bearing in mind that it is <coughs> temporary until we set up something a little bit better. I can still make it cute. Alright, we're done with the rails. We can put the dirt in there. The cobble and the iron and the redstone dust. And is that where I got my. No, that's where I got my wrench. We'll hang on to that. Yeah, we we'll toss those in there. Honestly, I really need to uh, redo what stuff I have on here in my uh, ender chest. Because I'd really like to get a little bit better set up so that way it's anything I could possibly need. You need a gearbox like what you set up for me. Um, no, no, no. I do have gearboxes, but it's... A little more hit and miss, a little more scattered. The time for color coded gearboxes? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, um, here, have a peek in my ender chest. <laughs> Look at that. In the few seconds, we've already got nine bamboo back. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Beautiful. I just need some glass, and you said that's up by the precious? Yep. Um, there's also some glass downstairs, too. Yeah, that but wasn't that for the rail project? Correct. Yep. Yeah, no, 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 because I need the blocks. Oh, and, okay. Oh. Holy mother of glass panes, Batman. Yeah, we might not need that much. I might have made a few. Maybe. Might? Might. I used the word I intended to. Uh huh. Does it mean exactly what you intend to? It does now. All right. Uh, do we? Okay. Where's the clear? It over on the side. Does lapis not make blue anymore? Uh, not directly. You make blue dye with lapis, and you can also use um the new one of the new flowers. Corn flower. I have many of those. Oh, oh, oh ow! That didn't sound good. Yeah, that was supposed to be a graceful exit through the uh, skylight. Graceful is not the first word that comes to that description. <laughs> cool. Yeah, all a matter of perspective, I guess. Right, put that in there. And it is nighttime again. Is Maybe that happening night. faster now? No, we're just more aware of it with the pillager raids. Because 
Oh no! Pillagers! Are you saying that exclamatory or do we have pillagers? I'm saying that exclamatory. Okay. Or explanatory. It kind of was both. Why do I get the feeling that we won't need all of this pink stuff until, like, we get different people on board? Uh, well, for one of the people that I think you and I are both thinking of, then, yeah. Alright, uh, here's the question. How high do I make this greenhouse? Because no, uh, because nothing's going to grow past three. As soon as something grows past three, it's going to trigger. So I can go ahead and cap this off. Flying out of the contraption. Alright. You may build something beautiful around this shell. Awesome sauce. <laughs> and we got just short of half a stack of bamboo with that stupidly simple, insanely small bamboo farm. Yes, but we need enough bamboo for me to have scaffolding, so... Just remember, six bamboo and a string makes six scaffolding. Have you met me? Yeah. Yeah. We have scaffolding now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, just, it'll, it'll keep up with you. I have that recorded now. Mm -hmm. It was said live on air in front of zero live viewers. And so that way when Jebba listens to the uh, recording later, when he's home alone, he will know too. Hey, he likes listening to those recordings. I know. Since bamboo is a fuel source, should it go downstairs in the My Precious area? Uh, I feel like that makes sense because it also makes scaffolding. I, I defer to wherever you decide to put it. Yeah, I think it's going to... Because it kind of goes with kelp. Uh, to my it way of thinking. It could go with kelp. It could go with lumber because you can make sticks out of bamboo. So the next time you're short on sticks for whatever reason, you can also use bamboo. Not as a direct substitute, but use the bamboo to make sticks. Yeah, it takes two bamboo to make a stick. <laughs> because reasons. I'm going to say that doesn't seem quite right. Nope. Now I need to go make two, four, six. No. I need to see if I have iron doors first and foremost. I have an iron door. Uh. All right. I am looking for a stone. What do I miss? And what do I... Oh! You need smooth stone. Gotcha. Because I do plan on doing a lot of stuff with the uh, stone stairs and slabs. And the stone cutter makes them insanely efficiently. 
Um, oh, that's right. I never I explained this to Arcadius when we were talking after the upgrade, but I never put it on on air. I've started clearing out this area. What I'm going to do is these are the hoppers that come from the main mob dropper. I'm going to take that as an input into a big storage system, an automated sorting storage system down here. Uh, it's probably going to be two levels. And my goal is to not just sort it, but to have all the stuff that... Um, that could feed into a composter. I'm gonna shuffle overflow of that into a composter so I kinda get a bone meal farm on the side. <coughs> that is the intent. And then I will move all these boxes out and start put it, setting up workstations and turn this into a uh, work area. So that's done. I need... I didn't need that many iron doors, but that's what I got. I'm gonna need some buttons. Because with the pillager raids, I am a little worried about them possibly busting down the um, gates here. I don't know that they can, but I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather have it set up in case they can, <laughs> just in case. Where are the bells going to go? The bells, 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 bells. Yep, those ones. The ringing in the... Mm-hmm. Those ones. Uh, what's the problem here? Okay. Hmm. Well, doesn't that just put a wrinkle in things? All right. Let me... Push this back one because I need the door on a solid block. And composters and blast furnaces. Where should we put those? Uh, I don't. Do do we have a place for that sort of thing? Kind of ish. Kind of ish. Said what I meant to. Yeah, we have a place for like crafting tables and benches and stuff. I just wasn't sure if we needed them out right now. Uh, I'd go ahead and set up one of a bunch of them. Cause that seems to be one of those things that you don't need until you need it. And you'd really like to have it when you need it. All right, let me go get two more fence posts. That'll do that up nicely. I have noticed that some things have been relatively quick and some things have been a little herky-jerky. So I'm going to kind of keep an eye on that. Uh, it seems that most, uh, most of the, uh, like the Hermitcraft people have had fairly smooth performance with it. And Pixelris was mentioning that things seem to be a little wonky for him. And so... 
This seems to be one of those uh, your mileage may vary things. Bam. There we go. That is most definitely not the look I was going for, but I will fix that up later. Ooh. Oh, no, I can't have those there. I can't have those there. All right. So I can't get up the stairs with those there. And I don't have a button over here. Well, interesting. All right. Uh, let's do this. Let's at least get one button there. Let's throw a slab there. That should still... Yeah, there we go. That looks ugly. That looks really ugly. Could you find another word choice, please? Or make something that doesn't look ugly? I'll eventually make it not ugly. Alright, I need two, four, six composters. Because these guys won't do anything until they have a point of interest or a profession block. So I need to go give them a job. I guess villagers have become teenagers. They won't do anything until you give them a job. And sometimes even then. What is necessary to make said composters? That's what I was getting ready to double check because I thought it was just a couple of planks and slabs. But I appear to be wrong. Oh. You need four fence and three planks. For some reason. Alright, so all those slabs I crafted, I don't need. Oh. Not for the composter anywhere. Four fence and three planks, so that means I'm gonna need... Yeah, I didn't think about putting that there, so I'm gonna need some of the sticks. That'd be four, eight, sixteen, twenty-four. How many different colored gems are there? Um, a bunch. Yeah, we when we uh, when we upgraded the server, we also added a few different data packs. And uh, one of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are you kidding me? And one of them was the uh, gems. We're not using them for villager trading. We are using them for... Um, sorry. Making it pretty. Sorry, I'm having a lot of trouble doing this and talking. Don't ask me to chew gum and walk at the same time either. Okay. Yeah, mostly we're just using them as decoration. We're not doing any of the villager trading stuff. We 
stuck with all the same data packs that we had the last time we did add a couple uh, mostly some crafting recipes I will have a complete list on the post and I will have links to the way we have it set up so that way if you decide you want to set up a server like we have ours going you'll be able to Kidding me. All right. I don't know if that will work because I think they need to be able to pathfind to them. Yeah, he doesn't see those there. So those little cubbies that I set up up here are not going to work. Interesting. Hi hey guys. Can all right. I see you found your bed. Nice. Is it nighttime already? that up to you. Now are you guys happy? Not acting like you're happy. fix those two stone bricks. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and grab a bunch of extra bricks because I got a funny feeling I'm going to be doing a lot of digging around here. Originally, if you if you remember a while back, I had set this up so that I could tuck the profession blocks up in that corner there, which apparently they don't like, or they don't recognize it. They got to feel like they can pathfind to it. There also seems to be this really weird bug where they do not recognize a path of one block away. Um, so in other words, if you put them in a standard villager trading center, they, they won't, they won't recognize that the block right in front of them <laughs> is a profession block. All right. Uh, that is 10, nine. Okay. That'll work. All right. So those guys should be all set. They should go back to farming the carrots. Let me go ahead and clear this out so that way I can check back on them and know if they've actually done anything useful. And I'm going to check the hoppers that feed, or the uh, d droppers that feed into that, because every now and again, for reasons I have not yet figured out, sometimes the droppers will block up and they won't do anything. All right, guys. So. I wonder. Will that work? 
I can't remember if the space above them had to be open or not. You know, do the easy thing. I'll leave them open anyway. There's something up there, so you can't jump on it. Why do you think you're a fisherman? You're a farmer. There's a composter. Go, go be a farmer. Okay, fine. I'll come back and check on you guys later. No, no, oh, you, no, oh, no, no. Get in there. Get in there. No. What are you doing to the villagers? I was trying to help them out, but they're not cooperating. <coughs> they decided to try to make the great escape. Did you ask them if they wanted to be contained? Uh, it wasn't a question of ask. They volunteered. Uh-huh. How many different new kind of things are there? Uh, profession blocks? Yeah. Uh, uh, quite a few. One of the fun parts is that barrels are technically profession blocks. So if you're using them for storage, there's a chance that a villager could claim it as a profession block and then you get a fisherman. Interesting. That is, uh, that is one word for it. Alright, so those guys are farming. These guys, at least one of these guys is farming. Where's the other dude? Oh, that's right. I wanted to go grab some more light green stained glass. Because I wanted to expand out that window a little bit. Because I'm having trouble figuring out what's going on in there. And, uh, they're not always cooperating. the other Yahoo go? Um, where did the other guy go? You lose a person again. Yeah. Well, that's terrifying. Yeah. Where did he go? All right, there's those two guys. chasing after <laughs> okay uh hey buddy where did where did the other guy go where's phil is that the problem i didn't name him not lying in the bed Surely a zombie didn't reach him through the block, did he? Uh, is this... Uh, how did you get out there? What the hell, dude? Oh, uh, did... Is that 
not what happened? Did you... Because you popped out of the bed? Now you're out here? Alright. Don't go too far. I'll get you back in there. Whether you want to or not. Where did I put my boots? Travel. stairs. Keep going. Yeah, you're the actual farmer. Get up there and farm. Dude. Gonna have to thicken up that wall, too. Come on. You know what I wish... I wish Mojang would let me lead you with some emeralds. Come on. Up the stairs. Ow. Yeah, that didn't sound good. Yeah, it wasn't. Farmer Dan. Let's get you back home. There we go. All right, so that's apparently going to be a really fun problem. Good to know. some stone and some dirt and see what I can do about fixing that I'll just have to thicken that up a little bit then I'll get to the last two guys not what I wanted. Yeah, it was a little more than I wanted. This flight's too far. This flight's too short. that actually pops him out again. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. You guys are doing your thing, sort of. Where'd, where'd he come from? Oh, come on. You guys only have the two beds. 
for serious. out. There we go. Hey. And you're both farmers now. Alright. You already make all your composters that you need. Yep. And all these guys should be farmers now. up there. Okay. Or that could disappear. That's fine too. Not exactly hurting for uh, stone slabs and all that anyway. There we go. stone in there? No, I did not. And, nope. Okay. And the chicken cooker is still working pretty good, although I don't know. I guess the chicken stayed in there long enough to start laying some eggs. Yeah. Interesting. I would have expected them to cook long before they started doing that. I may have to put an item... Well, I'm not going to worry about the item filter. Because again, remember, the long-term plan is going to be... Uh, to get all these farms. So they're running into a stream under here. Go, go, gadget efficiency. Okay. To get them, so there's a stream running across this aisle here, down this way here, and over here, because behind this brick wall is the central tube for the monster dropper. Oh, sorry, I saw something up there, and, and it had me worried for a second. All right. These guys are doing good. These guys uh -oh. haven't done anything. It's nighttime. It's nighttime. You don't have anywhere to sleep, do you? Now keep the bed on me. Ah. Um, and speaking of taking care of animals, do you want to feed the Java or shall I? Again. Okay. How do you grow berry bushes? You plant a berry at the, on the ground. Do they grow next to each other? They will grow next to each other, yes. Um, you do want to make sure you don't put them anywhere where you're going to be traveling through because they will slow your movement and when they are fully grown you will, do da you will receive damage when you walk through them because of the thorns. What we need to do is we need to find a couple of foxes. Then we can get a fully automatic berry farm. The foxes will harvest the berries. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. They'll eat one for their troubles, but you know, that's fine. They can take their 1%. <laughs> oh. 
go visit your cows because it might be a good idea for us to all have milk on us periodically. Uh, you're, you're just still overly cautious about the bad omen thing, aren't you? Yep. Go ahead, complain about me being overly cautious because I will not be the one who triggers your farm to death. No, that's that's why I put the metal doors on there. Did you put fencing up? No, I have not put fences up yet. Uh, fences. Where are your cows? They're in the cow farm. Can I get to them where they are? And are you decorating with bamboo now? I am not decorating with bamboo now. I just had a couple extra left over from building the farm. Ah. I really do need to cook up a little more steak anyway, so where you at? I am outside your door. Ah. There's where my missing stones went. Okay. And oh, that's right. I need to get another composter together. And Did you move two... everything again? Huh? In your house. No, I haven't moved it much in the house. You don't need this much dried kelp, do you? Uh, where are you looking? Nowhere. But I might be by your furnaces if I was anywhere. <laughs> Does it automatically replenish? Uh, that is one of the things I have not tested from the upgrade. Because before the update, the furnaces were running off of carpet and a carpet duplicator behind there. Ah. Oh. Uh, let's see. Is that going to run? Holy mother of rails, Batman. Yeah, I got a couple. I still can't find the cows. They're in the cow farm. Where is the cow farm? Is that the cow farm? Nope. Nope, it's on the next floor up. <clears throat> Are you the cow farm? Well, it's not on the top floor. Yeah, you gotta go up the elevator. I did. Yeah, there's a floor in the middle. Oh, I suck at this game. Here. You might have to get the milk from the top. Your entities look a little bit crammed. No, uh, they're fine. They got plenty of space. Oh my. Oh my what? Your farmers look, um... Oh, why is one of your farmers a fisherman? I don't know. He shouldn't be. He also has a baby. Yeah, there shouldn't be one of those either. And I don't know why he randomly changed from a farmer back. Quite frankly, I don't care as long as they keep working. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm going to redesign the farm anyway. Uh, I think it has to do with the way they recognize the, uh, the crafting <coughs> benches and all that stuff. All right, where is the bamboo farm? It is behind the post office. Okay. Why is there a random sign in the forest that says Spawn Center? Because we were going to build the um, iron farm in the spawn chunk, because the spawn chunk stays loaded all the time. 
so I wanted to find ah. it. And then I started wondering if we really needed the uh, iron farm in the spawn chunk running all the time, and that's why I have gone no further than the sign. There you go. Oh, I'm by the community chest. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is doing all right. Man, this stuff grows quick. I'm getting the things that I need to make pretty. Okay. Um, There are different types of sandstone, smooth sandstone, sand whatever now, aren't there? Uh, no more than there were before. Oh, okay. Are there, like, smooth stairs? I thought that was uh, going to be a thing. I believe so. There should be. Uh, you might want to use a stone cutter to do that too, just because you'll get more more stairs per stone block. How does one make a stone cutter? Three smooth stone and an iron ingot. I say that because I just looked that up. <laughs> the the recipe book is the best thing they added because yeah, but I didn't have it. I just looked for it. It wasn't in my recipe book. Um, do you have it set to show only the stuff you can build with what you have on hand? Or to show all the stuff? I have it set to show all. Yeah. Uh, I type stone. And it does not come up. Yep, grab three smooth stone and an iron ingot, and, uh... Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, what was I... I was going to make yet one more composter. I also just typed in smooth, and it did not bring up different types of sandstone. Or is that the one you have to burn? Huh? How does one make smooth sandstone? Uh, that part I do not recall. I think you burn it. Uh, I think that's to get the smooth stone. Nope, you gotta burn it. You gotta burn it? Burn it. Burn it all. Actually, I shouldn't say that to you. That's a fair concern. Alright, all that wheat seed that I've been stocking up on. This is gonna be a temporary. <coughs> Just so I can at least get something going with it. I'll get a box. Bam. Bam. Should be able to take. I really need to put one more box on top, don't I? Yeah, I do. That at least gets that started. That's gonna keep. Yeah. That hopper is gonna keep feeding seeds into the composter. The composter is gonna eventually fill up and create bone meal and then start filling it in there. That's why I stopped tossing all the uh, wheat seeds a while back. In anticipation of being able to get yet a little more bone meal out of this. I might even move that little micro farm up there. 
now that I'm thinking about it. That's not going to be a today thing, though. I also need to look up the list of things I can go into the composter so I can figure out what I need to shuffle in there. Alright, we have a stone cutter. What else do we need? Uh, well, the stone cutter will help you get the slabs and stairs in quicker. Also done a loom. Yes, we're gonna need a loom. At least one loom. Yep, and now I want to figure out how to make a lectern. You're gonna need uh, slabs and a bookshelf. Oh, huh. okay. Slabs of what? Uh, of wood. Here's well, that is burning. I cannot remember if there was more than that or not. It's not showing up in my recipe book, but that might be because I haven't grabbed a bookshelf yet. I just grabbed a bookshelf. forgetting. Uh, let us ask the almighty Google. Right. Yeah, it should be four slabs and a bookshelf. Three slabs across the top row. One bookshelf in the center center, and one slab in the center bottom row. Lectern. Boss. Yeah, I know. You're sad. It happens. All right. Are you feeding him or am I? Oh, yep. Sorry about that. Oh. Oh, you know, he's so close to death. Oh, oh, yes, sir. I mean, he's one missed meal away from starvation. I mean, look at that puppy. Do you see him? He looks so sad. There's a reason why I've been using him as my intermission gif. What I really need to do is I, I need to get another one of them. One where it loops a little bit more smoothly. But uh, someone <clears throat> does not cooperate with that well. <laughs> Except his attention is raptly somewhere else. So I've been messing around, not really accomplishing much on today's stream. I've been kind of stalling. Because now, 
Now that we got the full 1.14, what I need to do is I really need to return to this project over here on the mountain. I need to finish building out my... Oh, ow, ow, ow. I... I need to finish my lighting project to keep them from spawning over in this area. Push that a little bit further back. I might even knock a little bit more of this hill down. You also need to help me finish finding all the profession benches so we have one of each down here. Yeah. Uh, that might be an off stream when I can just load up the wiki on one screen <laughs> and go That's through fair. on the other. I'm going to thin out this forest and I'm probably going to make some custom spruce trees just so that way it feels the right kind of full. I got tired of trying to grow them and get exactly what I wanted. I need to build up the mountain over there. I gotta remember that I got the fish farm there, so I gotta be careful as I build that out. Huh. Need to do a little bit more building up of the mountain over there. And what I was thinking of doing was picking an elevation and having it so that way it's dirt right up until that point whatever that elevation point is, and then just use stone for the rest of the way up and even go in and tear out some of the dirt near the top. Um, so it looks it looks like it near the top of a tall mountain where you stop getting a lot of grass and dirt and stuff and it turns into more stone and rock and that sort of thing. So that is on the project list. I need to do the same around the corner over here. You can see where I started filling that in, and I do need to go finish filling in this side of the mountain over here. I've got some farms that need to happen. Lighting needs to happen over here. I really need a tree farm because one of the things that I'd like to do is going to require a lot of lumber. Hence the desire to get as much bone meal going as possible. So, uh, now that I've got the composter and I can start making bone meal out of a lot of the overflow and excess, that'll help. <laughs> oh, Jabba. <laughs> this food dish is sliding, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I can hear it on the mic. Because <laughs> sometimes he's a cute puppy. Most of the time. Uh, can you do mossy stone stairs and slabs now? I believe so, yes. Now that you're asking me about it, let me go grab some and check. I think it's just the crack stone that we can't do anymore. Or that we can't do yet. Yeah, so with the bossy stone and the stone cutter, you can make slab stairs and wall. And now we can actually make brick wall, which is nice. Cannot do anything with the cracked, which is kind of sad. You, you really should be able to make crack stone wall and crack stone stairs. That would be awesome. Yeah, my list of projects kind of keeps growing and growing and growing. Like, like my big old storage system down here. So I'm going to have the stuff come out from here. And then go to a stream that's going to run this way. Maybe recess just a little bit further back. All the farms are going to dump down into this central column here. So this box won't be collecting anything. It'll all be filtering into the storage system. What I will do is I'll put two hoppers here. Or maybe a hopper in a box. So that way I can unload whatever random stuff happens to be lying around my inventory. And uh, feed that into the system. 
And if I get a shulker box full of random stuff, I can just drop that shulker box on there. Smoothstone doesn't have slabs? Uh, Smoothstone has slabs. Oh, what about stairs? Tried, but it didn't make anything. You need Unless a stone there's something cutter. Weird. Oh, okay. La da. Da hey, job. Somewhere around here, I actually had a list of the projects I was going to work. I needed to work on too. In my copious amounts of spare time, I do. Even though I know I said I don't care, so long as they actually keep producing food, um, these guys don't seem to be producing as much either. These guys have yet to give me a potato. Now that's not growing right either, because that's supposed to be dark enough that it pops off when they walk away from it. They, these farms may take further design. These guys are doing okay, but I can't remember how much of that was from earlier. So, grab this out of here for now. Wow. That went quick. Alright, so all those stacks of seeds got me a little bit of bone meal. Not as much as I would like, but I'll take it. Make sure I don't accidentally craft white dye with it. stalling and not actually working. Let me go ahead and run over to Arcadius's base. That way I can point out a little bit of the redstone that happened over there. <laughs> I forgot that that was a thing. You can use the uh, trapdoors to push yourself down into a crawling position. So you know how all the uh, tiny homes craze that that that's about to hit Minecraft too. We've seen Mumbo and Green and a couple others build their tiny homes. And I need to start assembling the clips for some produced episodes. I've been promising them for a little bit and it's time to actually get them done. Um, such that, you know, the first one, I've got a couple of the old servers that I want to do a quick tour. Um, I'll need to ask Reyest and Arcadius to give me a quick little hello. It could literally be just them waving at the camera and going hello in front of the Crawford Craft logo. Come on. Stone cutter sounds really weird. Yeah, it does. Um, I'm stuck. Uh, what in the world? My hello load screen. What are you telling me that you're loading? Flying is not enabled on... Yeah, I wasn't flying. I promise you that. Alright. 
so 1.14.2 is definitely still got a few bugs. Someday. You gonna load? Hmm. If this doesn't resolve itself, I may have to end the stream a little early. I can troubleshoot why it thinks I'm flying and kicking me off. Yeah, no, I know flying that's enabled on the server. I wasn't flying. I'm not flying now. What in the world? <sighs> okay. That was the weirdest bug ever. Is it really the weirdest? Uh, okay. Maybe not... Maybe not the weirdest. But that was definitely unexpected. So, we got our little Etho hopper clock going here, and what it's going to do is it's going to send that redstone signal out to this block where we've got one repeater pulling it out and sending it to the comparator, which is then putting that signal over a dropper, sorry, dispenser. And then we've got a second signal coming off through a very long delay into the side of here. So we've got... It's powered, dispensing, delay is coming, and then the delay is eventually going to cut power, which will then turn it off. And these observers are... They should have been looking up. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. They are looking up. That's the direction it's firing. <laughs> and uh, so they're triggering in that air block above the droppers, which is triggering the dropper below, which is the observer is noticing. And it's relaying the signal on down from there. Down and down it goes. And it should be enough to push the mobs off the edge. I've got my uh, depth strider boots on, so it's not going to push me which is good. One of the things that Arcadius is working on is figuring out where he's going to put his AFK base, or his little AFK spot. Uh, the idea is going to be... That, that really didn't sound good. Okay. Uh, the idea is going to be to have it at a midpoint between here and the Guardian farm over there, such that when you AFK, they can both be running at the same time. That way you can pick up all the Guardian drops. I've got a rail station design, but that's one that I'm going to have to start on a day that I know I've got... <laughs> that I know I've got lots of uh, time to work on. and start getting the stations in. And once the stations are in, we can start building the rail between each of the different stations. Uh, Arcadius also made a little mo design modification here. He put in a lava blade above there. Basically, they will entity cram in here in a two by two grid. It just takes them a little while and he wasn't patient enough to wait for them to entity cram. <laughs> So he put in the lava blade and they bounce up and down and into the lava blade and will burn themselves to death. And it also softens it up a little bit. So if you want to do it as a manual XP farm, uh, it'll 
they'll be a little bit easier to kill. It does mean that our overflow box does mean that our overflow box has a lot more cooked cod because the system does cook it. Um, so what I may have to do is I may have to clear out the raw cod, see how much. Ooh, yeah. Oh, decisions, decisions. So I'm going to have to see if there's a way to either filter cook cod into here, add maybe another row of boxes, or just content that the cook cod's going to go in there with everything else. I think is the one that we're going to do. Um, oh, and seeing that Guardian had reminded me, I said that we added a couple new data packs and I totally didn't even say what they were. Um, just that I was going to link to the download. We did add the armor stands. Uh, let me get back to my reference over here. So we got the customizable armor stands that we added and we've got a different version of the player gravestones than what we were using before. This one has some additions and some quirks, not quirks. They are design, it's just different than what we're used to. And uh, we got the treasure ge gems added in. We added in a couple of crafting recipes and uh, mostly it is set up so that way you can uh, you can still I was supposed to have a list interesting okay um, basically some stuff like renewable uh, renewable coral and that that kind of thing And I'll say it more so for my own memory. I will post links in the description and I will update the CoffeeCraft website with the list of everything that we've done. Let's head back to the base. Chat window back up. The only addition to the woods was the signs, correct? Uh, yes. You seriously? Come on. No. Oh. Let me out of the boat. All right. I, I think we might have to uh, get rid of Arcadius's ice road, which is a shame. But if we're going to keep having problems with the boats glitching like that, where did it even go? It's there somewhere. have to we might have to talk to Arcadius about that the boat glitching is causing even more problems which is a shame because that is a really fast way to travel I wonder if that's why the hermits suddenly stopped using ice boat roads because I noticed that in their nether hub redesign they are not using them, and they just kind of quietly changed. I wonder if that's why they did the grate over them, and if we just put the grate over them, if that'll be enough. Uh, no, the they have the grate over them like that, so you can jump run, which is faster than a regular run. Oh, that's why I hear chickens. They're, uh... Another chickens. Say what? 
Somebody <clears throat> may have thrown a bunch of eggs around the nether. Can you do that? Yeah. Now there's chickens in the nether. Did we need chickens in the nether? Eh. They didn't seem to complain. Hey. Hey? Nope, got nothing. I'm just making all my new stuff and putting where it's going to go. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I feel kind of bad because I really didn't go in today with a plan. And that is one of the things that I, I am going to fix for future streams. A lot of it was hanging. A lot of it was kind of on hold until we could safely update to 1.14. And now that we're on 1.14, it's time to start looking at what we're going to do and prioritize it. Like, I definitely need to get that trading hall fixed, but I'm not sure I want to work with the villagers just yet, at least not until... Um, are they still... Sorry, I just got distracted by all the hearts, and... Yep. Yep. Uh, more villager weirdness. They, they, they keep tossing potatoes at each other and deciding that they want to breed, but not breeding because, well, there's no beds. Um, I think my farmer over there has stopped farming because he doesn't have a workbench. Yeah. Look at that. You hear that sound? That is the sound of potatoes being tossed back and forth. Yeah. That slacker up there is... Not doing anything. Oh, <laughs> except holding up an emerald because I have a potato in my hand. I. That is one of the nice things. If they if they will trade, uh, if they will trade for whatever you have in your hand, they will let you know. So you hold something up in your hand, and they'll hold up what they're willing to trade for it in theirs, which is kind of cool. It does make it easier to identify. Yeah. It, it does make it feel a little bit more like a shady backyard, you know. Cleared out all these potatoes earlier. Which one of you yahoos has the inventory full of potatoes? Oh, never mind. They fell down from above. Okay. Oh. Hey, my first new new villager. Oh. Oh, no. That means that they're breeding down here. All right, I'm going to have to do something about that. Why do I get the feeling that you're about to kill villagers? Uh, no, because I need them. But I am going to pick up all the potatoes and force them to go through their inventory. Guys, seriously, I, I don't... No, not... And what gets me is they're not supposed to be breeding because there's no beds. Unless, unless they're ignoring that because they are villagers who were there as part of the upgrade. And not villagers who were spawned as actual 1.14 villagers. Because I know they left in some quirky behavior from... So, so your 1.13 villagers behaved normally or near normally when you upgraded. And I'm wondering if this isn't a quirk of that. Seriously, guys. Oh, yeah. Alright. Uh, huh. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to find a safe place to tuck these guys. That is not a place they can breed. Yep. Because I know we got at least one new guy. I don't know where he came from. Well, I mean, I know where he came from. On a mommy villager and a daddy villager. 
throw potatoes at each other. Hmm. Interesting. Although, now I'm curious. Since this thing has been running... Oh. I was not expecting that. Bit of bamboo got stuck on top of the other bamboo. Oh. Oh, I'm not worried about that at all. Ice. Alright, while we're playing with 1.14 stuff, let's go ahead and make some scaffolding. I need... <laughs> I just need to go to my ender chest, because one of the crafting recipes we did add is the ability to take wool and break it back down where's my wool there's my wool and break it back down into string because at least that's the way my sweater seemed to work a regular crafting bench. Ice. So where are we putting the scaffolding? I have not decided yet. I'm just working on building that. And making sure that downstairs in the main building we have one of each of our tables that we need. got a lot of potential. Whoa. Well, what? I just turned around and there was scaffolding. Yeah. That's not supposed to go off that way. You gotta break the one at the bottom. No. More trying to figure out how to make it taller when you're standing on top of it. Huh. So now if you go add it to the side, it's gonna move it out the other side. Hi. Hi. Ooh. There's more behind you. Hello. Our bamboo farm has been rather productive. I, I'm actually... <laughs> but does it have enough for my next project? Nothing has enough for your any project. That's fair. Java. You seem to be stretching too for some reason. Like you did work or something. Life is hard. Yeah. 
Ah. Trying to plant up some more sweet berry bushes. Yep. There I we wish go. for more sweet berries. Uh, it's not the best food source. Ow, ow. I don't want it for that. I want to decorate with it. Oh. Yeah. Left click destroys the bush, right click harvests it. How do you go down? Oh, shift. shift. Okay. <laughs> oh, shift is right. Hard <sighs> for me to figure out how to make. And Thorot and Paul Thorot and Brad Sams are at a conference called Shift Happens. Hmm. That's interesting. A uh, SharePoint and Office Workspace kind of deal. Rhinestone seems like that should go with the other. Did you say rhinestone? Rind. Grind or? Yes, G R I N D. Hey, what happened to the two uh, bamboo I was growing over here? What two bamboo? I had two bamboo that I was growing outside of my house. No, you didn't. Seriously? Hey, you said you didn't need it. It was extra. No, I didn't say I was decorating with it. That is not the same thing. Some potatoes. I need another shulker box. <laughs> Never mind. I got the wrong sister for that question. What was that? Which two colors make orange? Um, I can answer that question, thank you very much. Red and yellow. Oh, you were the psych major, not the art major. I should be talking to you about my troubles. Starting projects and completing streams. Except I don't think there's enough billable hours to get into all the problems. Glad you said that. Oh, and I didn't even want orange anyway. I wanted yellow. Why don't you just go to the color box where I have 50 bazillion colors of everything? Because the color box is over there and I'm over here. You want me to bring you some yellow? Nope. I've got some yellow. I donated some bone meal to Arcadius's flower farm and got a bunch of yellow, red, and um, whatever the other ones that his farm produces. Okay. 
Um, yeah, mostly I'm wandering aimlessly, so let me not make you suffer through that. To kind of recap, I'm going to figure out what is up with these guys not doing their... Oh, the carrot guys are working. These yahoos are not. I'll have to figure out what's up with them. I suspect I already know, but uh, we'll figure that out in a little bit. Figure out what's wrong with these guys, although they're at least producing something. And, uh, yeah, lots of projects. Lots Most of scaffolding. Lots of projects on the agenda. And, uh, quite frankly, I I'm just happy we made it through the upgrade all right, because <laughs> we almost didn't. Um, it, it took us a couple of times to upgrade the server and not lose stuff out of various people's inventories. So, uh, part of why I didn't quite get stuff ready for today. What should have taken about 15-20 minutes ended up taking well into midnight. And uh, yeah, we got a little bamboo farm going so that should help us out for the next few projects. Because I know we've all got some things we would like to do with that. I'm probably going to upgrade that bamboo farm or go to one of those um, more complicated zero tick farms because what I'd like to do is I'd like to actually set up a smelter a community smelter over here and get the bamboo farm to feed in as fuel um, so maybe throw together two or three more of those guys there or some longer versions of the same and uh, and then use those to feed the furnace arrays. I'm going to tear that building down and build three separate buildings instead of a big combo farm like this. Technically, I could convert those into platforms, put some beds and profession blocks for those guys on either side, and it should start generating iron. It won't be anywhere near as fast as it was before, but we don't tend to go through iron in we tend to go through iron in waves. So it could certainly accumulate at a slow trickle and still meet our needs. But uh, there's a whole lot of uselessness over there right now, and I want to go ahead and tear it down and rebuild it. Uh, probably building the iron farm underground and pumping the iron up. Uh, get a bigger trading hall with more villagers to trade with in that area. Uh, so it'll probably take up the same footprint. And then uh, get a villager breeder and put that up in the sky somewhere. So that way it's uh, out of the way and far enough away from these guys that it doesn't treat it like one big village. Uh, so the computer treats it like three separate villages. Not that, that, not that that helps that much. And I will return next week at 7 p.m. with a plan. Probably one of the aforementioned projects will do live on the air to move move some things forward we are kind of we are we are getting pretty settled in here now um, with working together as a server but I don't know that we're ready to launch the inaugural because one of the things that we all right when I say we I mean definitely me I want to start producing some actual episodic content and trim it up a little bit more. I'd also like to get a little more of the uh, educational type stuff like the redstone videos or build videos, but not the block for block and not the high level expert type videos. Something geared a little bit more towards the middle. Uh, so you can do stuff like take somebody's chicken farm design and modify it. Take somebody's egg farm design and modify it. And, and that way 
learn how the redstone works a little bit better and how to work the redstone a little bit better. I'm curious now. Or oh, I forget, can I put the feathers in there? Will it actually accept the feathers? No. Ah, uh, that would have been too easy. It also won't compost eggs. Huh. That one I was not expecting. Alright. So with all that said and done, it is it's that time. Uh, we do this every Tuesday at 7 p.m. More organized next time. We also do Games Revisited on this channel at 6 p.m. on Thursdays. Right now we're going through Knights of the Old Republic. And we're doing a medium-paced playthrough, so it's not a speed run. It's not a, oh, let's look at every pebble along the way. It is a, a moderately paced walkthrough. So you get familiar with the lore. You get to see a little bit of the surroundings and understand the game and the way the game was built and a lot of the things that are going in there. I'd highly recommend it, especially since there are rumors that a movie trilogy may be based on the mythos that was covered in the game. So they're talking about a Darth Revan-based movie trilogy, and all that comes out of the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic video game. The, the original games, not the MMO that started well but ended badly. Uh, not that I have opinions about that. And Fridays, we also unwind with a World of Tanks stream. We call it the 47%. Last I looked at my profile, it's 46 point something, so calling it 47% is actually being a little generous and rounding up. Um, I did take an extended break, and getting back into things is... Uh, it's taken a little bit. We're getting there. Uh, playing once a week and only once a week uh, is not helping the statistics. But on the other hand, there, there's some interesting aspects of the community that uh, that I'm trying to counter with my videos to, to illustrate a little bit more of the behavior I'd rather see and enjoy playing. So we'll see how that goes. Have fun. Enjoy. And I will see you next time.